I want to thank everyone at the museum for putting the artist talk series together and for including me in the exhibition. My name is Rachel Tiroche. I create non-representational abstract painting. I express balance and movement using layers of texture, color, and marks. Abstractions allows me to, uh, the freedom to create without comparing to an existing object. Uh, it is all my imagination, my memory, or my dream. And later, it is the interpretation of the viewer. After the initial shock of the pandemic that led to shelter in place, social distancing and cancellation of all the in-person shows, I started to take advantage of virtual life reality, like today. That gave me an opportunity to take art classes with faraway artists from the convenience of my garage studio. The classes made me revisit all paintings regarding color, mark making and edges. I dare to use hard edges with happy colors. As you can see in the painting that is in the exhibition, Urban Scape on Edge. In this painting, I started with a grid and I weaved my way in and out of it. I played with ball shapes in different colors while trying to keep the harmony and balance. As opposed to most of my painting that are more organic in nature with earthy tones, I started to use sharp edges. The edges I realized uh, are the physical re uh, reflection of my emotions during the beginning days of the lockdown. The streets were empty and the stress level was high. However, I needed to escape to a happy place with colorful designs. Uh, in the painting, tensions and happiness coexist. My happiness was more being grateful that my family could continue to work and study from home and we were all together and safe. Uh, next slide, next slide, please. Even before the pandemic, uh, I studied and examined the personal space that we put together around us by islands of colors. The colors are surrounded by the, te by the texture and a quiet space, as you can see from the serious personal space. Little did I know that this will be our way of life and not just a feeling. To be able to stay busy and motivated, I made a rule to paint in the morning and do the computer work in the afternoon. It worked most of the times. Sometimes I forgot myself in the studio and sometimes I forgot myself next to the computer. The goal was just to keep busy. I participated in group art challenges and that kept my creativity going. I also added yoga, yoga to my life and I discovered that the principles of yoga reflect my intentions in my art, finding alignment, upward of energy and balanced life. My process is layering, pouring water with pigment and glue, scraping off, scratching into the surface, leaving traces of earlier information, a buildup and overlap of successive stages. For my mark making, I sometimes use unorthodox tools and materials from the kitchen, from the hardware store, and the recycled bin. The next slide is my newest work. My plan for the future is to expand my grid studies find connections within, within my personal space. I want to get bold with shapes, colors, and brush strokes. I started to do that in my new series I call Four by N. Here are three examples. If you wonder about the names, I name my paintings by the association I get from them. It is usually a feeling, a mood in the painting, or where my eye gets fixed at. 
The most important thing I wish for the future is to be able to start meeting people with a hug. Participating in in-person shows and gallery openings. So stay, stay safe, everyone. Thank you for allowing me to share my art with you. And thank, and thank you for supporting the museum.